Hello, my name is Jesper. I'm Danish and I'm living my dream here in Latvia in my farm and in my shop. The dream is exactly to make the best products, uh, organic products that we can eat. You see a part of it here. This is a full rack of beef, fermented, dry aged more than 50 days at the moment. Today, me and my partner Dennis will show something about the specific meat cuts and Dennis as a high skilled chef will also cook it for us and for you to see how to do it in the right way to have the best and the most delicious uh, result. Let us talk a little bit more specific about the meat. To have the best beef meat you have three things to fulfill. You need to have a good breed of animal. Our breed is Hereford. Why Hereford? It's because they are collecting very good uh, fat inside the muscles and fat in this topic give a good taste. Next thing is to have a good life for the animal. The time of their life, what they are eating, is what gives the flavor. The third thing is the processing of the meat after it's getting slaughtered. The fermentation, the right cut, and of course, in the end, how you cook it in your kitchen. So, that's very important. Now, today, we will cook this piece for you, and I will start to chop it up. So now we have our beautiful tomahawk steak. We cut it off the, the full rack. And uh, what I need to do now, before I handle over to the, to the cook, to the chef, is I need to take uh, this bone off. I will chop it off and I will clean this part of the bone. It's called the handle in a tomahawk steak. You know, a tomahawk, that's the name, why the name is from that. So let's uh, get it working. So, guys, now our fantastic steak is trimmed. We have a leftover here, by the way. The leftovers is not going out. We are using it for making the fantastic bouillon that you can also grab in our shop. Very popular, very healthy. So now, Dennis, next step is you. Can you please uh, do some magic things with this wonderful tomahawk steak? I'm sure I will be capable. <laughs> And now, when Mr. Holm, Mr. Josper, butcher himself, done a beautiful job, everything is trimmed, everything looking nice, I have to do nothing apart from just adding some spices and ingredients to make this meat even beautiful. The meat is aged more than 50 days and ready almost to eating as raw as it is. But no, we're gonna cook it. And I prepare something for slight marination. Here is the garlic, here is the fish thyme, here is some rosemary, I prefer molten salt and other five pepper mix spice. So simple is that. Keep watching.
gently wrapping our tamagaf steak in the parchment paper and giving this to rest for a bit of half an hour in our fridge. By the way, we are preparing garnishes. So you know us, the Hereford shop, like a meat shop, and we are still, the key product we have is the best meat, of course. But besides that, we also had some small things that connect into the meat. Now we have a much wider, much bigger uh, selection of things. We have more sauces, we have fresh vegetables, we have spices, we have cold cut like roast beef, and we also have uh, bouillon. So this is all because we now have a kitchen and we have uh, chefs who is doing these things. And uh, now for me it's very interesting, Dennis. What will be chosen from your side to this wonderful Tomahawk steak? Okay, I have only two minutes to choose and I choose everything, almost everything. Uh, of course I would like to have uh, this beautiful asparagus and few varieties of sauces. Big family, want to have a lot of garnish and plenty, plenty of vegetables. So our meat is ready and I'm always ready to start rock and roll. Okay, mushrooms is burnt right and on top of our tamaga. We are going inside. I'm getting exciting. Medium rare, 20 minutes. Very, very soon. Guys, I see you ready. I got a feeling where well, our meat is ready. Let's check. For our perfect medium rare to medium, we will say it will be a proper 60. And we're gonna give it a little rest for a couple of minutes. And you can see how all our garnishes is ready. The potatoes is smushing in the oven, vegetables are crying to be eating, and the grilled vegetables is absolutely amazing to eat. Here is 54, perfect medium rare is 57, but the piece is quite huge in, on the bone and will slowly continue cooking. So some parts will be more to medium rare, some to medium and close to bone, of course, it's more to rare. So really, really want to try. The 
my moment of truth. Look at this fantastic dish for your beloved one. This time, it's for us and for other people around you. Beautiful vegetable, the steak that we prepared very well. Now I'm so excited to see if it actually is so good as we pretend. Before we start to slice it, we need to chop off the bone. So we can make beautiful pieces of meat for each other. Oh, it looks fantastic already. <laughs> I cannot wait. I will have the bone. So, look here. Oy. This is what I call beautiful meat. I almost don't need a knife. So soft it is. It's amazing. Uh, what is very important now, after the cooking, it needs a good touch of the mild salt. And olive oil, friends. As we say in the kitchen, yes, chef! <laughs> and a little splunge oh, of good oil. I'm gonna steal this somewhere, some nice. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I'll give you a smaller portion, you two parts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. And the moment of truth. A little bit of jibbity jib. Have a famous daily glass sauce. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. We must start eating.